what is going on? Uh, today is November 1st, and I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and apologize to you guys. I have not been uploading every even number day. It's every four days, and just because of lack, I've been really busy with my life right now. School, it's the end of the first quarter. All you guys go to my school, you guys know that. So, um, today I'm going to be doing a how to on how to tie and improve clinch knot. And this is the knot that I pretty much use all the time. 99.9% .9 of the time I'm, I'm tying an improved clinch knot. So I'm going to pop the chesty on and uh, give you guys a little bit of a... I'm going to show you guys how to tie it. And I'll tell you guys some of the things that people do, especially um, beginners that are uh, with this knot, this uh, knot right. So uh, uh, I'm going to go into this video and uh, put the chesty on. I hope you guys enjoy. So right here, I have a like... 11-0 mustad hook on some wire. We use it for marlin baits. For you put these on plugs and swordfish rigs. So I'm just gonna leave this on here because <clears throat> this, this is still usable. I don't want to cut it because they're probably gonna use it in the Bahamas. And here I've got some 80 pound high vis monofilament line. So first, what you're gonna do is take your hook, put the line through, leave about for you for people who are just starting to do this knot about seven inches. What you're gonna do is take your line, I like to put my finger in it, wrap it around. With this heavy line probably only like five times. And this is like I usually do five times. So wrap it around five times. And what you're gonna do is take this tag in, stick it through here. And this is where a lot of people mess up. They usually just pull it tight. And that can be okay for you for you guys who use monofilament, but this knot will slip if you use braid. So what you actually should do is, well, let me cut it real quick. But a lot of you guys just do it that way. And again, for those of you who use monofilament, probably not the hugest deal, although it will slip. So those of you who are targeting big fish and stuff, do not do that. I've seen a lot of videos where people just do that. So I'll show you how the right way to do it. Five times around, go through like we just did, but then you put your finger here, there's this little almost a little d-ring go through that go behind where you've done your twists and go through that then wet it then if you need to just cinch it down a little bit with your fingers then what you're going to do is just pull tight pull on all ends tight and this is this is the my favorite knot to use and just trim your tag in leave a little bit of a tag in of course and that is the improved clinch knot super easy I've, I can tie one really fast now but it's a super strong knot just a little close up of it but uh yeah that is basically how you do it and again a lot of people do it the wrong way and uh kind of ignore, ignore it. and again it's clinch c-l-i-n-c-h improve clinch a clinch knot is just what I showed you before the wrong way to, to do it but this is an improved clinch so much for watching this video I know it's a pretty short one but I've been wanting to do a video like this in the uh, past, so uh, I decided why not do it today since I'm not fishing. And fall is in full swing, so a little bit chilly to be wearing this uh, short sleeve shirt. But uh, I'm just damn, and I, I wear a sweatshirt all every day now. But uh, hopefully, my dad just left, like he left at four o'clock this morning, and he's not going to be here for probably till around Thanksgiving. He's got four, already a boat show to go to. Then he's going to run the Little Grady across to the Bahamas. Then he's got to run the 80-foot Hargrave to the Bahamas. Then the owner of the Hargrave is going to come down to the Bahamas on a trip. So he's going to be pretty busy in the month. And again, in the wintertime, he's almost never home. In the summertime, he's home a lot. But uh, in the winter, he's especially this year, since the boat's going to the ba is staying in the Bahamas this year. But um, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm, you're probably like face-tracking this instead of me. But... Uh, Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's not too long, but again, I wanted to have this video up and uh, check out um, check out uh, it's spicy. It's spicy. <coughs> check out it's spicy on YouTube. Um, he has a pretty dope channel, guys, and uh, and and just hope you go subscribe to him, cause uh, my goal is to be like him. Uh, just with all the sound effects, I really like that. So, uh, that's my goal to strive to him. Actually, hang on. Oh, baby, a triple! Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah! That was my favorite one from this video. But, uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. 
and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, uh, especially subscribe. I'm hoping to make it to 200, then I'm going to do a giveaway. So, um, I don't know what I'm doing, but, uh, thank you. Just thanks for watching. Punch it.